your love anymore I am Brian Oxman and you are listening to Insight Harvey Bolter is the chairman of Secrypt Group Incorporated. His company has developed and markets a software technology program that encrypts private telephone calls, text messages, and other electronic transmissions so that it cannot be intercepted and not be part of the National Security Agency leaks we've all heard about. Hey there, Harvey. It is great to have you on the program. Welcome to the show. Nice to speak to you, Brian. You bet. You are in London as we are talking to you today. That's right. I'm uh, here for a couple of weeks on many different business meetings in relation to this program. Fantastic. The National Security Agency leaks and this Edward Snowden case has just caused tremendous effects all over the world. It's affected you. Tell us what kind of effects it's had and how your system works. Well, it's had a massive effect on us and a very positive one because we are one of the few companies out there on the side of privacy. And so we've developed an app. At the moment, it's available for an Android or an iPhone. You download it to your phone and it gives you a highly encrypted call or message between any two devices anywhere in the world. And what we've seen in the last few weeks, months, is a massive uptake in the download rate of people subscribing to our service. We've had downloads in 215 countries. Oh Can you imagine that, Brian? People, people are really crazy. concerned, aren't they? Well, that's right. They are. And I think they've got every right to be concerned because, you know, clearly the leaks in relation to PRISM has shown that the NSA is intercepting basically the calls of everybody, the metadata of everybody. And it's not just the NSA, but um, the British have been exposed, the French, the Germans, the Swiss. Everybody seems um, to do it. And everybody's at it. And I think suddenly the world has woken up to realize that their mobile device is not secure. And people have been saying this for a long time, but I think there's a naivety in the corporate world and the consumer world, and people just haven't appreciated it, that the mobile device is not secure. Now, how does that work? It's an encryption program, and I have to have it on my phone. Does the receiver have to have it on theirs? How does this work? That's right. You both have to have the app on your phone, and you can get it from our website or indeed the iTunes store or the Google Android Play store. And our website is secrypt.com, S-E-E-C-R-Y-P-T.com. It's fairly easy. You can download it. And once you've both got the app, we give you both a secure number, and you have an extreme encryption level of a call between those two devices, end-to-end. Who uses and then this? every time you make a new call or you make a new message, you get a new key. Who's, so even if an agency spends 100 years breaking the first message, they have to go through the same process to break the second message. Wow. It's incredibly strong. Who would use this? Do industry use it? Do government use it? Do spies use it? Well, gosh, I mean, we've just seen interest from everybody. I mean, we've seen a whole host of governments showing interest in it, particularly the ones that have been named in the press to have been intercepted by the Americans or, or, the, or the British. So we've seen a big uptick there. We've seen massive interest from consumers concerned about their privacy rights, celebrities. We have a European royal family using it. But we've also had a wave of interest from corporates all around the world because they've got perhaps the most to lose. They're the most vulnerable. They've got no protection pretty much at all over their voice or their messaging communications at the moment. And yet they've got trade secrets, intellectual property, and it's just all vulnerable. And, you know, we've seen enormous interest coming from that quarter of the market. There are a lot of people who say that uh, Edward Snowden was a traitor, that he had no right to uh, release these kinds of secret government sources and uh, the, the reports about the NSA doing this. And I don't think that he ever envisioned that there is a way to beat this. Do you think that if Snowden had realized or had known about your process, about how you do things, that uh, he would have felt so adamant in making this kind of release that he did? 
Well, I, I think, for the record, I think Snowden has broken here, here, the law here, in, rela- in relation particularly to classified information. You know, and it's clear the Americans and perhaps the British are pretty upset about that for good reason. But uh, you know, I think it's also fair to say that he has thrown open the doors on this privacy debate. And I think what you will see in emerging in the Internet and the technology markets increasingly is companies that seek to protect your information, to protect your privacy rights. And that's an extremely small market. Most companies haven't focused on that. Indeed, some of the biggest players in the world have been an active participant in prison. And so they've had no interest whatsoever to protect your privacy. Indeed, they've been working with some of these folks to actively not protect your privacy in ways that perhaps people hadn't imagined before. How about corporate spying? Don't we have a lot of those kinds of problems? Oh, absolutely, you do. I mean, you you have to remember, Brian, it's so easy to intercept calls and messages in this day and age, you know, literally with $700 spend and, you know, some clever software you can get off of the internet, you can be up and running and create yourself a spoof tower and and start hacking or intercepting calls real time. It's not that difficult to do. It is not that expensive to do. Other governments do it against each other. Businesses do it against each other. It's pretty prevalent throughout the world at the moment. And you might remember, I'm standing here in the UK, of course, the news of the world, you got busted That's literally right. a couple of years ago for their journalists intercepting all manner of people. When you know, people their voicemails and calls. When people want to reach you, where do they go? Well, they go to our website. It's secret.com. And that's the first place they can download a free trial. We give them the product three months for free initially, and they can work their way up to a year for a free service just by adding people to call in their address book. And then eventually the the product will cost just $3 a month. And for that, you will get, at the moment, it's encrypted voice and encrypted message. But by the time you end up paying, we will also be giving you messages with attachment and email as well. Fantastic. Hey, Harvey, we sure appreciate you coming on the program, and we thank you so very much. It's my pleasure, Brian. You are listening to Harvey Bolter. He is chairman of Secrypt Group Incorporated. You can find them at secrypt.com here on Insight with Brian Oxman, and we will be right back.